No, I haven't been contacted by NASA to see if I can do some testing on the moon. Might as well with this stuff. As you know, you can discriminate it out, but we've got some moon rock, mineralized rock, different sizes. Now on the legend, come up about 11 on the Simplex Ultra, it comes up 19, but I don't, I don't discriminate it out because we know, we know that discriminated hinder performance in the field can get dragged down into those readings, like on the legend, you can get small gold that gets dragged down into the hot rock scale, similar with any detector. Now these come up, I think they come up 30s, but we're gonna, I know off the XY screen, you might be able to tell, but I've got the, the master and the ID is gonna come up and it could come up like a good item. So we're gonna listen to it. We're gonna listen and I'm gonna go over it with some high quality audio and we're gonna listen to what it sounds like compared to something else in that target range. And we're gonna leave it wide open because if you discriminate it, then you'll be discriminating possible good targets that you want to dig. So the way to distinguish it is to use our ears and just see what it sounds like. Going up 27, big numbers. 26, 27, 28, this one. It's softer. But around the upper 20s, a lot of people wouldn't dig these signals because it's too low on a conductor scale. Uh, on some land, I wouldn't even dig it if it had loads of foil, uh, stuff like that. So I wouldn't dig anything that low. But on ploughed or arable, if you really want to try and get the stuff out that people are missing, you want to be digging your twenties, you know, when you know that an item can get dragged down from the mineralization in the ground. Those detectives that really want to go for stuff that has been left behind or on the land that has been done before by other detectorists, we we will be digging them lower signals uh, could be something that's to iron that's made it drag down or the mineralization of the ground will drag the id down so i'm going to represent this because i haven't got a hammer small enough but with a tiny speck of lead uh, which is going to represent an item in mineralization uh, that's been dragged down to then to that area So that's 20, something that could be dragged down in mineralized ground. Now to me the audio on that sounds like, remember going back in the in the day where you had either a radio station or you had a dial on your black and white TV and it just wasn't tuned in. It just wasn't tuned in enough so it was it sounded rough, it sounded, the picture looked shit, shadowing on picture, and it just sounded rough like not a clean signal. And that's exactly what that sounds like. I hope it's coming through on the audio. But I would say, I would say to discriminate. Can you tell what that is? That's the lead. So what this is? Can you hear the difference? Hot rock, hot rock. There's some spikes as well in that. That's the lead. Exactly the same number. Hot rock. Guess what it is? Lad, hot rock, lad. So that was with full tones, which is probably the best, the, the best way to run any detector as a audio tonal selection. Now I'm going to do this in the next time in the field. So what you've got to do, really, you've got to, you've got to dig, 
you've got to dig them. That's if you choose to. If you're on the wrong kind of land, if you're not there with stuff that could possibly be dragged down to the high 20s, I wouldn't bother digging them, you know? Um, but like on ploughed land that's mineralised with ironing, you, you'll want to get them bits out. You're going to have to dig them lower numbers. Uh, coin on its edge, it could be a thin hammered on its edge. I know a lot of people don't, don't go anywhere near digging that low. Um, they just have to high conductors and any machine, any machine will hit a high conductor like silver or copper, big coins. You've got no problem finding them. It's for people that want to find the... I dug so many 20s, 25s, uh, up to 30 on a dig. Uh, I dug a lot of lead, tiny bits of lead. Uh, so I was impressed thinking, oh, I'm, I'm, if there's tiny bits of gold there, bronze age gold, flake of bronze age gold or something, I'll, I'll find it. I wouldn't do that all the way through the dig. I, I, I spent like two hours really trying to pull some of that's been missed out the ground. And then you move on to your mid high uh, audio. And so... It all depends on what you want to do, but the machine can pull really small items out. Uh, I did knock the max frequency from 40 to 24 because I was, I, I changed my hunting methods. I, I decided to, right, I'll just go for bigger conductors so I don't dig any smaller stuff and knock it back to 24. So it, you've got it all there. This is what these advanced detectors bring. You, you can customise uh, yourself it's like say your permission was been done and done and done and done a lot of them detectorists wouldn't run wouldn't dig items that low in conductivity but there will be st some there so i do find myself when i go on permissions i will dig them lower ones especially if it's been done before now on these digs you've got a certain amount of time so i don't do the full dig digging the low conductors i'll do a couple of hours though i will do a couple of hours because it does i do get enjoyment out of seeing stuff getting picked up that's really small you know it shows the performance of the detector and i do like that part but you can't do it all the way through or else you'll just end up with nothing or you'll end up with some that would never get picked up by anybody because a lot of people are just after the, the easy targets definitely an audio difference in hot rocks so hopefully I will be testing and digging them targets just to prove to myself that they are uh, hot rocks and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> 